Dear brothers and sisters, dear family of God, I would like to ask you if you would join us in fasting and prayer. We're going to fast and pray here at Calvary from the 5th, which of course is Wednesday this week, to the following Wednesday, the 12th. From May 5th unto the 12th, we are fasting and praying that God would move upon the Supreme Court of the United States. They have set the date to take up our case against our governor here in the state of Maine for the 13th of May. So on the 13th of May, the Supreme Court is going to decide to decide. So in other words, they are going to go one way or the other. Either they will do as they have been doing, and they will simply order the lower court to reverse their decision. Certainly that's a win for us. Essentially denying our governor the ability to shut down churches or to restrict our God-given, constitutionally guaranteed right to religious freedom, as well as our right to peaceful assembly. But what we're hoping for is a different outcome. We're hoping and praying that the Lord will move upon the Supreme Court of the United States to actually rule on the merits of these government lockdowns, thus settling the issue for the whole nation. An issue that needs to be settled. Something has been done that has never been done before. So if the government retains the right, the presumed right, to shut down your church in the name of an emergency, in the name of a pandemic, if they can come up with justification for other circumstances, and I assure you that they will, and they will shut your church down because of hate crimes or they'll close your church for environmental reasons. There's no end to the issues that they can use to justify some kind of government interest in closing down our churches. So I urge you, pray for the Supreme Court. Join us in fasting and prayer May 5th, a week of fasting and prayer to the 12th. And let's watch and see what God does on the 13th. Grace and peace to all of you.